Welcome back. I'm Valab Nayak, and in this video, we're going to cover WebReg. This is the last step in the course registration process, where we actually register for the courses. This video is part of a larger series about course registration at Rutgers, and you can find the link to that below. In our video on the course schedule planner, we ended with a saved schedule. In this video, we'll register for all the courses in our saved schedule at once, but later we'll also see how to add and drop individual courses without using course schedule planner. Let's start by going to course schedule planner. We'll log in with our net ID. and then click on Saved Schedules. From here, we'll click Register. If we're let in, that means registration has opened for us. Otherwise, we can check when pre-registration opens by searching for Rutgers Registration Schedule in a new tab and finding the link to the New Brunswick Registrar's site. We can click on the semester we're registering for and scroll down. Here, you will see several dates associated with the number of credits you have. The more credits you have, the earlier you can register. This is to ensure that students closer to graduating get the first pick on the courses they need for their degree. Let's close that tab. We can see that all of the index numbers from Course Schedule Planner have been imported to WebReg. At this point, I would normally go ahead and click register and wait a few minutes for the request to go through. But in this case, I don't actually wanna take these courses. Instead, let me try registering for a single course. To go back to the WebReg homepage, I'll click Choose Semester. From this page, WebReg will not let you click on a semester for which registration has not yet opened for you. For example, if I click on Winter 2021, I get an error message. We'll stick to Fall 2020 and click Continue. I wanna look up a course. And if we switch to the Course Lookup tab at the top, we see that the schedule of classes is built into WebReg. I'll select New Brunswick and Undergraduate. And I'll go to the Industrial and Systems Engineering Department. And here I'll expand the last course, 497, Co-op in Industrial Engineering. I can see that the credits are by arrangement and I need a special permission number from the program director. Regardless, I'll click on the register link and then click on Add Courses. Since this course has credits by arrangement, I can select the number I agreed on with the program director. Very few courses have this option, so you most likely will not need to worry about this. Finally, we'll click on Submit, and we're prompted to add an SPN. I don't have an SPN for this course, but if I did, I would input it here, and that would allow us to add the course. I'll cancel for now. Dropping a course is even easier. All you have to do is click the drop button next to the course. However, you will not be allowed to drop below 12 credits without the permission of your academic dean. If dropping below 12 credits is necessary in order for you to modify your schedule, please reach out to an academic dean or advisor. Once you're done, you can see your final schedule by clicking on the View Print Schedule tab. If at any point you get stuck or need further assistance, you can contact your school's advising department. If you have technical questions, you can contact the Office of Information Technology. I'll see you in the next one.